Well, Daniel Godfrey, number eight. Welcome home. Uh, good to be back. It is good to be back, isn't it? Yes. You've um, let's let's start let, let's start at the beginning, but let's start more at the beginning than we usually do. You are a Pontypridd supporter, aren't you, Dan? Yes. Uh, <laughs> from a very young age, uh, watched Pontypridd and supported uh, all the past, uh, say, legends, Baz, um, well, Chief Johnsy, Jenksy. Um, coming down to you many, many times uh, with my parents, watching, uh, watching from the terrace over there. Uh, very fond memories. So this was a bit of a no-brainer when the opportunity arose to come back home then? Uh, yes, it's so been in the pipeline for a few years. I gathered there'd it's, been rumours, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for a few years, it's, uh, it's just I got lost on the M4 on the way down, <laughs> on the way back. Uh, Sat nav you need, right? Sat nav, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the one they gave me from the didn't work. So no, it didn't work hey, there's a lot of things that don't work around there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it's, uh, it's been in the, I'd say in the pipeline. Yeah. It's always been talked about. I think it's been known. I always wanted to come back. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm just glad the opportunity has come out. Uh, hey, time for me to very, very pleased to have you back. So let's um, let's let's recap then. Um, Dan Godfrey's career from the top. We talked about this on the way over here. Let's talk about it now. Junior, junior prior to that was this. I mean, uh, very beginning now. Oh, very beginning. Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, let, let's let's hear it. Um, it all started uh, Abtosog under eight. Love um, it. So I played under eight so, uh, to under tens, and then uh, so touted at the age of ten by uh, Derry. Uh, what a all fantastic right. setup over there um, in Derry. Um, so I went over there, played over there for three three seasons. Um, after that, to come back to Rumney, my own club, uh, Rumney. Yeah. My father um, coached us for a season. Um, hit a bit of a bad patch then, I more or less had a season off. Why? Um, Do you want to go into it? Or? Uh, I hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what happens uh, eventually, uh, yeah. I put on a lot of weight and uh, I just wasn't enjoying yeah. rugby at that, uh, yeah. at that time. So I, had a, I think it was about half a season off, I finished must have been around the Christmas time. Um, Sorry, under 10s hit puberty. No, I'm not going to ask. Three years. All oh, right, okay, oh, right. It's under 13s now. Jeep, that's creepers, right? Yes, yeah, okay. It's under 13s. Um, so after that, then I had a phone call from uh, Abitaleri. Um, I built up good relations with a couple of okay. coaches and everything from over the years, and they said, Do you fancy just coming down just to uh, have a game? So I went down there, um, enjoyed my rugby, made some great friends yeah. uh, down there, and. Uh, uh, it went on to youth. Uh, they merged Abitaleri Youth then, successful youth side at the time, merged with Ebervale. And I uh, joined up with uh, with Ebervale then. I uh, played my youth rugby there and was given a development contract uh, with Mike Ruddock. Right. Um, Who was Ebervale coach at the time, time yeah. yeah. Um, so basically I, um, I trained full time um, then with Ebervale over Aberdeen. Yeah. Headquarters or anything. Um, Unusual uh, headquarters for Ebbuville RFC, isn't it? For Aberdeen, yes, yeah. Uh, it was a pain in the backside to get to as I well. Bet it was, yeah. Um, from Benilla Valley. Um, so after that, about a year, year and a bit into the contract, um, I wasn't getting much uh, game time because Ebbuville were always on relegation, so there was never an opportunity to give a youngster a game, sort of yeah. um, So I asked, could I go to, um, could I go to my contract and go to New Zealand for a season uh, where I played. Um, season for a club called Puniki. Right. Um, the contact out there was a man called John Davis who emigrated from Rumney um, 1975 or in the mid 70s um, and he'd taken the players out like uh, Mike Voyle, Tony Clement um, and he'd asked or well, give me the opportunity to go out and play rugby to play a season over there um, which, which I took with both hands really. Yeah. When I was out there um, my parents had a phone call, um, I believe, of Ponapreeth, just just in the now, um, see what I was doing for the f for the new season. Yeah. Uh, the first year region I, regions that was. Two thousand three, two thousand four, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. The yeah. First um, start. Um, I came down, uh, had a meeting with Justin, trained trained with the boys, and uh, and that was it. It uh, fantastic opportunity. I couldn't turn it down. No, sure. We supported Ponty, so. Uh, so that was uh, that was it. Two fantastic years with Bonaparte then. 
Carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Carry on, please. <laughs> yes, keep going. I'm enjoying this. To, uh, Saves me talking, people hearing me droning yeah. on. Two fantastic years with Ponte Preeth. Um, unfortunately, losing in the 2005, uh, 2005 final. Yes. Very disappointment. A big disappointment. Um, an opportunity come then uh, for Garth Jenkins um, to go down west. Scarlets. Scarlets. Well, it's an and the Scarlets, wasn't it? It was a, yeah. a dual, dual header, really, yeah. wasn't it? Um, so I went down there. Um, had a really good pre season. We then went, uh, went on a pre season tour. We then played the pre all the pre season games with the Scarlets. Um, first game of the Premiership, then, uh, was the first or second game, fractured my ankle. Oh. Like um, massive disappointment. Um, so I was basically out for the season. I, I, I fractured and I had later on, then I had a DVT then as well. Oh, never. Um, Deep so vein thrombosis, yes, yeah? yeah. Oh. So I was out, um, I came back in the March and I just I played a pan full of games for the semi pro side then. Um, continued then training with the region, they were fantastic with the region. Yeah. Uh, supporting me, looking after me. Um, continued then for another season and be it work commitments, family. Mm. Um, Phil Davis was the coach at the time, I had a chat to him and uh, decided to stop full-time rugby and uh, concentrate on playing for the semi-pro side. Right. Um, plus I need to get my NQT for teaching <laughs> uh, out of the way because I, I was uh, um, coming up as well. So I played for uh, the Smithley side for was it another two years. Yeah. Um, I work commitments again. I'm a family, I'm a young family too. Um, wife and two young children. Right. Um, the distance working full-time. Just traveling. Yeah, uh, it takes its toll eventually, I imagine. Yeah, um, I was out all hours, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, and plus a Saturday. Um, so we decided to come, uh, come down the M4 corridor. Um, I was very, very close to um, signing for Ponty then, but circumstances um, didn't, unfortunately. Uh, but as they say now, Cardiff, two years in Cardiff. Has uh, shown you the light. Yeah, I've seen you down here so often, so often watching Ponty play when, when you've yes, got a week yeah. when you've got a weekend off or a yeah. or a weekday off. Well, I've got uh, there's no better club in Wales. I've got two young boys now as well, and Dylan is five now. Yeah. He's, he's at a good age uh, to start to understand a bit about rugby. Yeah, and it was fantastic coming to see, especially at the Bristol game. Oh, the Bristol game. Atmosphere was. It was uh, it, well, I say Ponty of old, but. Um, Back in the day, sort of thing, ten years ago. It was special, wasn't it? Oh, unbelievable! It was Happens the atmosphere. It was, um, everyone, it was, oh, it was fantastic. Very uh, uh, successful day for the club. Very yes. Successful oh, very, very club. successful, monetary and uh, financially, and uh, and in terms of in terms of spirit and goodwill generated, yes, I believe. Yeah. Um, but very, very good. Very pleased to have you back. How do you um, how do you envision slotting into this? You haven't trained with Ponty already, have you? Or no, no, no. but. You it envision nice it would be nice, wouldn't it? The end of the season, but yeah, <laughs> I, do, I don't know if the value will allow that, but no. <laughs> ten a bet on ten a bet on you uh, on you on the bench for the next game. Yeah, yeah. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, how how will it fit in? Because we've got Dicko, obviously, who's captain. Yeah. I mean, you, you know all the boys well, yes, I yeah, imagine. Yeah. Um, but Dicko's captain at eight. Are you an out and out date, or are you a six and a seven as well? I mean. Seven. You were long. No, um, yeah, I've played predominantly all my rugby eight. Yeah, eight, but that's I, what I thought. Yeah, eight, eight or six. Um, I think they've uh, kind of been assigned me um, as an eight. Okay. Um, so well, Dick will pretty much play anyway. Actually, yes, it's yeah. uh, the remarkable skill levels yes, of that man. Yeah. yeah. I remember when he threw it there. Dicko many years ago, he was, uh, he was on the wing, wasn't he? Uh, back in his youth rugby, I think. I could well have been. I, I we had a we had a long chat about these things a while ago, but. I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember. Last I remember of Dicko was um, was was the boys trying to force a, a, a Challenge Cup trophy down my throat oh, and right, uh, right. on camera. That was a bit unusual. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've got to be looking forward. Very much so. It's going to be hard. To butterflies. Top the season. Yes. Yeah. Butterflies. Butterflies walking across here. Uh, <laughs> going to do this. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I just hope that I can be as successful um, of a team plus myself as when I was here last. Yeah, it's um, some really fond memories, some of my best memories here. Um, 
and I just hope that uh, my next uh, my next two years stint here, or be it longer, um, can. Uh, so this is a two-year contract you've signed, then, is it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic! Yeah, Langers is quite true, there, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's no messing around. No. Um, it's. I mean, you've got to be. It's going to be a sense of trepidation. I don't want to put you on edge, but a sense of trepidation with regards to coming into a club that's having such a massively successful season. Um, You've got to be thinking, oh my God, there's a lot of there's a lot of pressure now to uh, replicate this. Yes, yeah. And, and or am I the first one saying that? No, no. There, um, there is every player for Ponty. Um, the rotation system has been it's been fantastic. You've stayed, you've been lucky with injuries as well this year, so it's a that's, um, credit to the coaches. But I know coming here as soon as pre-season starts, I know it's going to be um, I'm going to have to fight for my position, sort of thing. Um, there's pressure on every position. Um, and it's, it's a blank uh, blank page for me, so I've got to work work as hard, or if not harder, than every other player has been here for the last uh, year or so. That's uh, so, um, that's a fantastic ethos to take in the new season, Dan. Um, any players you're particularly looking forward to playing with or against? Um, <laughs> it's a right smile on that face there. But, um, I haven't played with Lockyer for a while. I like playing with Lockyer. Yeah. I don't like playing against him. <laughs> um, no, it's. Uh, a couple of the Ponty boys are, are good players. I, I played with Daisy a couple of years ago in uh, tens when I'm a problem, but um, Harford's always a character. Harford's a, Harford's a top fella. Um, Harford, a lot of time for Ryan Harford. Wayne, Wayne O'Connor, um, it's quality. It's absolute quality. I know uh, he's, uh, he's usually the player's player. Yeah. I don't know, uh, I don't know who's been, yeah, what players are coming in or what players are going out, so it'll be interesting. No, I've got an inkling of who's coming in, I've got an inkling of who's going out as well, but that's that's a story for another day, I think. Yes, yeah. um, it's exciting times ahead, though, very exciting times ahead with uh, with with this 10-team Premiership coming in the season after next. Yeah. Um, that is, of course, if Ponty sign up to it, which I, I, I can't see why they wouldn't, but, um, you know, it's, it's obviously things to be discussed further down the line. Yes, yeah, it's... Uh a lot of teams in the Premiership um, are going to be sad, well, say saddened, or uh, um, are not going to get into the ten teams. Which is, we can only wait and see if it's going to be uh, have a good effect on Welsh rugby or a negative effect. Well, this is it. I mean, consolidation isn't necessarily always a good thing, but then a big thing. He said when it was the professional, when we had the nine or eleven teams many yeah. years ago. Um, we, and going, we've got to go down to five regions. Um, they went down to five regions, but yet they're still getting in um, foreign players. So they said that the Welsh pool of players was still wasn't there many years ago, but obviously it's still not there now. Then, if uh, if they still got to get in so many foreign players, so, uh, it, uh, I I I have my um, I have my own personal bugbears with mm. with a lot of that. Let's not go into yeah. that on camera on YouTube and advertise to the That's world. I mean, we talked about we talked about where you're from and what. I mean, your your life outside rugby. You are I. You you're a teacher. Yes. You're a special uh, needs teacher. Though. Special needs teacher in uh, behaviour emotional social disorder school. Uh, Good lord. Down in Cardiff and Rabina. It's, uh, it's it's a small school. Only caters for fifty six pupils. Yeah. Um, in the Cardiff area. Um, very uh, very tough school. Mm. Um, it's a lot of the pupils are pupils who've been excluded from all the other comprehensives in Cardiff. And they come to us. Uh, they've got a special need, statement of need, and uh, they come to us, and I teach them to the best of my ability. Hugely rewarding career, I imagine. Uh, hugely rewarding when it goes right. When it goes right, hugely yes. frustrating as well because uh, uh, some of the pupils want to learn, some of the pupils don't. Yes. But uh, yes. yes, yeah, it's. Uh, well, hopefully they'll be watching Mr. Godfrey on television or on on the internet now and think, yeah, that's my teacher. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a way. Um, broke it in easy. A couple of pictures uh, up on the, the computer screen and all. So you're on you're on the, you're on computer studio, and I think I'm world famous. Now. Well, so. Dan, you're world famous in Pont de Brie, but let me tell you, and there's no bigger there's no bigger stadium yeah, in which yeah. to play. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. We'll have a chat next season now, possibly the season after. Yeah. Good luck for the season ahead. Um, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Yes. Uh, who knows what it's going to bring, but hopefully uh, the success of this season. So, uh, can't wait. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Dan Godfrey, dear Thank you very much.